So let's move forward. Now we're going to start modeling an object or furniture in Revit. So let's imagine that let's imagine that you really want uh, if you go back to this elevation, you want behind this wall to you're gonna remove this window or you're gonna move it to the left and maybe you're gonna make it smaller. Let's make it a bit smaller. There you go. It's a small window. Uh, but you want behind this to be this baseboard. And do you have a specific idea for this baseboard or, or something that's going to be custom and so on? So um, let's model something like that. So I'm going to go back to my first floor. And I'm going to go uh, under my, my um, what's it called? I'm going to go into structure for now. I'm going to click model in place. And I'm going to just simply go for now under generic model. And I'm going to call this. Um, bed backboard. And it's gonna start asking me some what do I want to do? I'm gonna create an extrusion so it so it creates a 3D solid. And I'm gonna use lines for now. So I know it's gonna go from there from the from eight and a half. And I want it to come out from the wall just four inches or so. So I know that we're creating this baseboard that is something like this looks pretty good. I'm actually going to extend this one all the way to the corner so I can see what I can do there. I've selected that and press check mark. But first thing, before, before I press check mark, I want to do two things. Number one, I want to say how high this is. So if you go back to this, you remember that my height is about 12 feet. right? Um, so I want this to go almost to the top, so I'm going to go to 11 feet. So I'm going to say Start at zero, like starts, and my end go all the way to eleven. And the second thing I want to do is I want to start adding materials to this object. So when I click on materials, and I'm going to search if there's any sort of wood. So I search for wood, see if there's something that I can use. There's a couple of ones, so a couple of them. I'm going to go with the wood stained. There we go. So I added my material, I added my height, and press check mark. I have to click finish model to be to end this part. Go back to my elevation. You can see that now there's this baseboard that goes all the way to almost the, the top, or actually it goes higher than the top. Um, um, the ceiling is actually uh, we did not specify the height, but if my walls are at 12 then we needed this to also be at 12. Move my ceiling to 12 feet. And you can see how this are actually, the, the, the lights are hosted there. There we go. So now we got this thing going. It can also go in 3D. And if you ever want to just select something, you can sort of see through it. Okay. You can see my new object is there, a couple of feet. And obviously my bed now needs to be moved uh, so that it's not touching that. No. Like this, you see now it's going like that. So now that I've added this, um, what if I want to keep making changes to this? Let's keep making a little bit of changes. I'm going to click Edit in Place. And not only do I want it to, um, not only do I want it to, um, sort of be able to do that. What if I want to create some openings? So basically, now I want it to be hosted on this wall so I can make extrusions on the side. I'm going to click pick new work plane and I'm going to select my wall as my work plane so you can see how it changed right now that instead of being. Um, now it's long like this, and so I go to first floor. Um, we can see that it's all the way here. So I don't need it to be long. I'm going to go back to make it the length that I need it to be. Right. But now I can actually change it. Uh, now, now that it's hosted here, I'm going to bring it back to where I had it. Right. Bring it at 11. Now I want to start creating openings. So I click on Edit Extrusion, and so this is going to be my boundary, but I wanted to create some, some openings. So I 
get this going. I'm going to create a couple of openings here. Okay. You can see how now there's going to be this opening there. I'm going to finish my model for now. I'm going to go back to 3D and I'm going to select one of these walls and hide it for now. Hide it to elements. So eventually you can unhide. There you go. I'm going to change this to realistic. You can see how now this is going to look pretty interesting, right? I can imagine putting some frames there or something like that. And then I'm going to actually I'm going to push it all the way to the top. Now I'm also realizing that this window maybe could be better if it could be all the length of this um, wall. And so I'm going to do some measurements so I can make my custom window. A little bit. Let's add a little bit of depth. So three and three inches and so on. And just gonna move this a little bit, make it just three and three. So it's so I have it close enough. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna add a type, I'm gonna duplicate it, I'm gonna change this, put in initials, and I'm gonna say I want it to be 3 feet 3 inches by 12 inch feet um, high because that's the height of this room. Okay. So my width is going to be, my height is going to be 12 and my width is going to be 3 and 3 inches and my default say height I want it to be at 0 because I don't want it to move. That's okay. You can see that my sill height is still at three, so I'm gonna bring it down to zero, and now it's there. So I can also slightly move it. There you go. So now we can see we have this room that it has uh, this baseboard, this backboard with some openings, but it also has um, this sort of now glass window right next to it, which I think is a lot more interesting. But now, what if we really want to add some sort of, um, maybe this desk becomes part of this um, uh, bed, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to click Edit and Place again. Let's select that. And instead of, if we go back to this, instead of editing this extrusion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another extrusion. First thing you got to do is always select the plane. Where do you want to draw it? So I'm selecting my plane, and then now I'm going to start creating. I'm going to start creating another extrusion. So this is going to be part of the same f component or family, but it's going to be separate. Right? So it's going to be there. I'm going to put it there, and say this is sort of going to be the top of it. Press OK. And if you go back to 3D, you see that it, I didn't specify the, the end. I can do that sort of manually, or I could have done that um, another way. Right? So if we keep going like that, right, I can, I can move it. You can see there's a window there, and I can try to get the perfect height. And you can see, right, I can attempt, make this the length that it needs to be. Right? And so something like that. And then I'm going to create another one, um, just to, I'm going to set, pick my plane all the time, and do an extrusion, but in this case, it's going to be part of this bottom. Right. So I'm going to click that, and in this case, um, I could also specify that how far is it going to be, or I can just move it here and link it to it. Right. I could have changed each of those to different materials. So let's say for this one, I want it to be um, a different type of wood. So I'm going to click on Create New Material. In this case, I'm going to click um, Rename It and call it New Wood Material for now. In your case, um, you would call it something probably more uh, realistic. But now, by clicking on this um, button, you can search for more materials. I search for the word wood. And I want to go through my different options. So there's different ones that I can sort of se select from. 
And I'm going to go with this one, this dark bamboo. A little bit of a contrast. There we go. Now I got this and this. And so maybe I, I'm going to move my bed or I'm going to put something there. Um, and so now I'm going to finish my model. This is looking uh, pretty good. And so now I'm, I'm going to change my bed to maybe a smaller bed just to give it a more uh, specific, uh, you know, maybe um, queen and so on. Then I'm going to bring my chair over here and I'm going to remove this desk because I've created my own custom desk. So I got my, my rendering, my, my bed, my, and, and again, we can add some frames, images later on, or if we really want to, uh, we can still um, try pushing this to be thicker, to be wider, so that maybe we can add some lightings or something in there. But for now, this is uh, looking pretty. So to recap, when it comes to um, modeling, the first thing is knowing where to go, component, model, and place. And the first thing that you got to do uh, is selecting, in this case for now, we're going to work with generic models, name it, naming it, and selecting the first thing you should always do is pick a plane. Where do you want it to draw from? And wherever you draw from is where it's going to be extruded. If you select your ground as your, as your, as your starting plane, you're gonna, your Z is going to be vertical. If you choose the one, your Z is going to be facing you. If you choose this, the Z will be facing this way. And then after that, it's just extruding, pushing up and down, editing, and um, being able to remove things that um, might not be needed. Uh, we also added already some materials and, and Revit. We're going to go over creating a new material.